a very good morning to all so in the last class we have seen that the common factors and uh, common multiples of the given numbers so in this session today's session we are going to see the some more divisibility rules the concept is some more divisibility rules okay okay students so if you look at this concept there are certain rules is there so that rule i'm going to write here and i'll give you one example also so for that rule so first one rule number 1 so rule 1 here i'll write so if a number is see here so if a number is divisible by another number divisible if a number is divisible by another number then then it is divisible by then it is divisible by each of the factors of that number each of the factors of each of the factors of that number okay so first one you have to just read the rules if a number is divisible by another number then it is divisible by each of the factors of that number for example so here i have taken see i will write that example okay so in this example so i will take 18 okay so divided by 9 so 18 can be divided by 9 okay so what will be the value so 18 divided by 9 so i'm right if a number is one number is divisible by another number so here you just noted if a number is if a number is divisible by another number then it is divisible by each of the factors then it is divisible by each of the factors of that number so 18 divided by 9 so 18 divided by 9 what is the value 2 okay now i am going to write so this is the number first number this is the second number so 9 what are the factors of 9 so 9 what are the factors of 9 so 1 3 3 and then uh, 9 okay so uh, there is no other table it can divide okay so if you look at that number 18 so 18 what are the factors so 18 can be divided by 1 am i right okay so 18 divided by 1 so 18 ones are 18 am i right so 18 will so 18 can be divided by 3 so 6 threes are 18 so 18 can be divided by 9 so 2 nines are 18 okay so that means uh, if uh, when a number is divisible by another number so if you look at that a uh, factor of that number that factor also divisible okay so i will write one more example then you can understand okay so one more example i will write here see uh, 24 divided by 8 so 24 divided by 8 3 okay so what are the factors of 8 what are the factors of 8 so here i will write factors factors of 8 so factors of 8 1 2 4 8 8 am i right so this number also can be divided by 24 so 24 divided by 1 24 right and 24 divided by 2 12 to so 24 and 24 divided by 4 6 for so 24 and 24 divided by 8 3 so that means each of the factors of that number 1 2 4 8 this number also can be divided by in the 24 so this number also can be divided by 24 okay so this is the concept 
can you understand if a number is divisible by another number then each of the factors of that another number also can be divisible okay okay students uh, the next uh, rule is rule number 2 okay so i'll write here so rule number 2 so what it states so rule number 2 if a number is so i'll write that if a number is if a number is divisible by a number is divisible by two coprime numbers two coprime numbers okay so two coprime numbers then it is then it is divisible by their then it is divisible by their divisible by their product also okay divisible by their product also see first of all if you read the statement here if a number is divisible by two coprime numbers coprime number in the last class in my previous class i said about coprime numbers what does mean by coprime numbers whether it has only the factor of 1 okay the two numbers which has only the factor of 1 then it is called coprime numbers for example 2 comma 3 so 2 comma 3 both numbers having only one common factors that is 1 apart from that there is no other number will come common factor okay so if you take any two numbers for example see here i will write that see a number i will take 80 okay so 80 can be divided by two coprime numbers 4 comma 5 so 4 comma 5 in bracket i represent it is a coprime number because uh, if you consider that common factor of 4 comma 5 only one the number 1 which has commonly divide the number 4 and 5 okay so that means 80 can be divided by 4 okay so 80 can be divisible by 4 same way 80 can be divisible by 5 okay so what is the statement here they have mentioned here if a number okay if a number is divisible by two coprime numbers okay so coprime number if a number is divisible by two coprime numbers then it is divisible by their product also then it is divisible by their product also so what is the product of 4 and 5 so 80 a number can be divisible by 4 a number can be divisible by 5 so what is the product of this number so 4 and 5 you have to multiply okay so 4 into 5 20 okay that means 80 can be divisible by 20 also so here 420 is 80 so what is the rule is when a number is divisible by the coprime number then it is divisible by their product which one is product that coprime number product okay if you multiply the two numbers that number also can be divided by that number okay the given number okay can you understand okay the next two rule is rule number 3 so i will write that rule number 3 so just to know this one okay so rule 3 So make a line. Okay, rule three. Sorry. So rule number three. Okay. So what is the rule number three? If two given numbers are divisible by a number, if two given numbers are divisible by a number. If two given numbers if two given numbers if two given numbers are divisible by a number divisible by a number divisible by a number then their sum is then their sum then their sum is also then there is sum is also divisible by that number okay 
so divisible by that number divisible by that number okay so this is a given statement just look at that statement if yet if two given numbers if two given numbers are divisible by a number a number that means a single number if two given numbers are divisible by one number then their sum also divisible by that number then their sum also divisible by that number okay so what is the meaning sir okay first one if two given numbers i will take two given numbers okay so here i will mention here 16 and 20 i am taking two numbers okay if two given numbers are divisible by number these two numbers are divisible by 4 am i right 16 can be divided by 4 20 also can be divided by 4 then their sum also divisible by that number so what is the sum of this number we have to add 16 plus 20 what is that number 36 so 36 divided by 4 36 also divided by 4 no so 9 am i right so can you understand the meaning if two given numbers this number and this number if it is divided by a common number a single number then their sum also can be divisible by that number so this is that rule okay so next uh, we'll move to that next rule okay so the first one okay see here the rule number four rule four okay so the rule four is if two given numbers are if two given numbers are if two given numbers are divisible by a number divisible by a number then their difference is also divisible by that number then their difference then their difference also divisible by that number Civil by that number okay so so first one I will take that there are two numbers two given numbers so I'll write that example here so example so what is the statement they given if two given numbers are divisible by a number if two numbers I will take 35 and 20 these two numbers 35 and 20 is divisible by a number these two number also can be divisible by 5 okay if two numbers are divisible by a number then their difference then their difference so difference means you have to subtract okay so then their difference also divisible by that number so what is the difference of 35 and 20 what is the difference so 35 minus 20 which is equal to 15 okay so the number 15 also divisible by that number 15 divided by 5 so 3 okay can you understand if two given numbers are divisible by a number then their difference also the divisible by that number so one more number i will write here okay 36 and 20 24 i will take 36 and 24 so both number also can be divisible by 4 okay if two given numbers are divisible by a common number then their difference also divisible by that number so what is the difference 36 minus 24 okay so 36 minus 24 12 so 12 also can be divided by 4 12 divided by 4 what is the value so 12 divided by 4 3 okay so this is the meaning of the given statement if a two given numbers are divisible by a number then their difference also divisible by that number okay so this is the rule for this rule number four okay so these four rules we have to read students okay
ஸோ இந்த நெக்ஸ்ட் ஸ்லைட் வி வில் சி த ப்ரைம் ஃபேக்டரைசேஷன் 